Leonard Sanders with uh, Toronto Pierce and Fire and Emergency Services, currently in an acting role uh, for planning and support. Down here doing our final inspections on Red 1 and Red 5, our two new additions to the fleet that'll be heading home to protect Toronto Pearson very soon. Protecting approximately 50 million passengers a year, running 6,000 calls, uh, we're also dealing with fuel spills. This will supplement our current fleet. We're looking forward to uh, the end of this year, early next year with our HRET Panthers. To add to our complement, one of the main reasons we picked the Rosenbauer Panther is first and foremost for safety for our driver operators. Uh, we've got a numer uh, number of features that uh, add to driver safety. Something as simple as the orange grab handles. There's no question on where you're going to put your hand when you're getting into a large vehicle like this. Next main reason on why we picked the, the Panther was to protect our infrastructure and passengers at Toronto Pearson and the aircraft that uh, use Pearson daily. Hi, I'm Paul Powell with Rosenbauer. Today we're going to feature the Panther 6x6. This truck's going to Toronto Pearson Airport. On this Rosenbauer Panther, we have an RM35 Hydrochem nozzle. It also comes equipped with a high volume, low attack bumper turret. With the high volume, low attack, it's also going to help when you're applying a dry chemical to any type of three dimensional fire. Uh, it's a great tool to have in your Rosenbauer toolbox. If you look on top of the Rosenbauer Panther, you're going to see the RM35 roof turret. This has the aspirated cannon on there, and you also see the um, like clamshell on the front. That's what uh, shapes your stream, uh, gives you your different patterns. Uh, this is going to launch water and foam a long distance. It's going to give you a really good foam blanket. Uh, it's a little different than what we commonly see in the RF world, which is an aspirating nozzle, but this is just the RM35, and they added the foam cannon on there. Uh, pretty intimidating, uh, I would say, running around an airport. The Rosenbauer Panther for Toronto Pearson Airport also comes equipped with the EMS compartment, and this is a good idea for storing everything inside of an ARF truck. You can keep your EMS equipment, any books, any paperwork, or any um, data information that you need to have on board. EMS storage area. We also have 110 volt outlets that are tied to the shoreline to keep everything charged that you're gonna keep inside the compartment. We also have three, three SCBA storage tubes inside here, as well as a FLIR thermal imager. The charging system's over there for your handheld thermal imager. All right, also Toronto Pearson had a special request for us. They had an aircraft incident where their, their ARF truck was off in some very uh, unlevel terrain and the smoke from the aircraft started getting into the ARF truck and they felt like they needed to protect their occupants and they came to us with the request of, can we put an onboard breathing system for the driver operator so they'll, they'll always have clean, fresh air? So what Rosenbauer came up with, we put a onboard SCBA with the, the long supply hose and then their SCBA regulators on here. All the driver operator has to do is put an air pack on, he can go on air and operate the truck and get it out of harm's way and back into a safer environment for himself and the ARF truck. We'll go through a, a few of the items here in the cab, basic standard layout. Uh, emergency brake, you have your start, gear shift, your lights, instrument pa package. We also have two flip up screens on the Rosenbauer Panther. You can alternate your view between the camera or the thermal imager, and that way both the driver and the operator are also viewing that. Onboard data center for your Panther. You can go through everything here, cycle and look at the truck. You can view your camera screens, your mechanic and maintenance issues, any type of water flow, your dry chem system, stationary pumping, and also when you're uh, pump and roll mode. Our airport radios are here, also here on the dash, an easy view for the operator. Here on the Rosebear Panther, we have our, our joysticks. This one's our roof turret. This is our bumper turret joystick. Uh, we use the same joysticks throughout all the platforms, so that way anytime if a customer orders more trucks down the line, they're gonna have the same familiarity with that same joystick. So even if you have an HRED equipped truck, you're gonna have the same joystick that you see in a non HRED equipped truck. With the center console here, where your roof, behind your roof turrets, you're gonna see the, joy, the joystick control for your FLIR. This is gonna give you your uh, different views for temperature, movement, you can do a 360 degree view with the FLIR. And this is a, a very great aid as when the, the driver operator is operating in inclement weather or looking for a hot spots on our uh, aircraft incident. Also, this Rosenbauer Panther comes equipped with the intercom headset system for all the occupants in the vehicle. This is a great tool for communication when you're en route to an emergency or operate on an airport where everybody has to be alert and watching for aircraft. One of the items that Toronto Pearson chose for their Rosenbauer Panther was a 360 degree bird's eye view system. What this does, it takes cameras from all four sides of the vehicle 
links them into a composite view, so you're almost like a drone hovering above your aircraft. This is a great safety tool to have. On your Rosebear Panther, you also have your forward-looking infrared. That's the housing you see there in front of you. This is going to give you a good clear view during inclement weather. It's also going to help you find hot spots or hot breaks on an airport incident. Toronto Pearson had a special request. They wanted a blue beacon as well as an amber beacon. The amber beacon is more commonly found on all our trucks, but with the blue beacon that met their needs and we customized the truck to do that. So now they have, uh, they use their blue beacon basically when it's uh, foggier or the weather's a little more inclement. The amber beacons for just normal, uh, normal weather days. Your onboard generator, it's a 10 kW PTO driven generator. This is gonna give you power to your plugs, any extra lights that you need, and uh, also for your electric cord reel that will power all your electric tools or run fans. Another option that Toronto Pearson chose for their Panther, they wanted a command light. So this is a light tower that elevates and it can do a 360 degree um, turn. Uh, you get light anywhere you need it, anytime you need it, and it does run on the onboard generator. Another great option on your Panther is the safe to approach lights. Uh, lights on every side of the truck, and especially at your cab entry locations. If this is solid green, you know the parking brake is set and it's safe to get into the vehicle, open the cab door, get in or get out. But if this light's flashing, you know that the truck could move at any moment and it's not safe to approach. This is your rapid start or remote start. As you're approaching the vehicle and everybody's going to respond to an airport incident or aircraft emergency, you can, the driver operator can walk up, hit this button, it's gonna cycle the truck through everything and go ahead and get started. It's gonna save you a few seconds, but it's another great option to have on your Rosenbauer Panther. You got your water level lights there. It's gonna show you when you're full and when you're running down to empty. This is a great thing to have for instant commanders as they're pulling up, they know which truck needs water. Also, you have your 20 amp shoreline. It's gonna keep anything, uh, you keep your battery condition. It's gonna do your block heater and anything that's inside the cab like we showed you in the EMS compartment that needs charging, that's hooked to those 110 outlets, this is gonna take care of that for you. We also have an air inlet, this is shop air, it's gonna keep the air pressure up in the truck. Uh, this is a feature that Toronto Pearson wanted, we were happy to get it on there. Uh, auto charge data center, as you come up if you need to, when it's not plugged in, you can read your battery voltage so you know what status your battery is for starting. Also here, uh, nitrogen system, for your dry chem system, we have a nitrogen vessel, this has an overhead hoist. We slide this out, crane. You operate it from right here. You've got a little remote control device. Stand over here, bring it out, lower it to the ground, one person operation. We also have our foam transfer pump right here. This is portable. It's got a 110 outlet on it. All you gotta do is uh, you can do it here and you can hook into your foam, external foam suction or your foam fill. The great thing about this is it is portable, like I said. You can take it anywhere you want. Then you also have your electric reel line. You can bring the power to the pump and move foam wherever you need to, anytime. 25 GPMs for in it. The heart of the Rosenbauer Panther, the NH80 pump, 2100 GPMs. Hey, this thing's a beast. It's gonna move water whether you're static, where you're doing stationary pumping, or if you're doing pump and roll operations. Some auxiliary items that Toronto Pearson wanted to go with on their Panther were the Hurst Hydraulics Hydraulic Rescue Tools. And uh, as you see in these compartments, we've got plenty of carpet space to store their hydraulic rescue tools. Uh, these are great. You don't have to have a uh, generator run them. They're gonna run on battery packs. These tools are a necessity for airport fire and rescue. Another option that Toronto Pearson won on the Panther, they wanted the rear steer system from Rosenbauer. And this is uh, the safest rear steer system out there. As you get up to speed, zero to 18, it's only gonna give you so, uh, about 10 degrees. Once you get over 18 miles an hour, it's gonna start locking out until it gets to 35 miles an hour and then you, cannot, uh, you can't engage the steering process then. This is a safety feature that keeps you from oversteering and losing control of the vehicle. As you can see where the tires are looking different here, the rear steer is engaged when we stop the truck just to show it off a little bit. And this is just a small portion of what you can do with this truck. It's gonna lessen your turnaround, uh, your turning radius by about half. We also have the foam level here. So it's gonna show how much foam the, the Panther's going through and the incident commander can make a decision if he needs to get more foam on board a truck during a heavy incident. Panther also comes with a lot of storage space, easy access for all your fleet personnel, a step up area. Also, this can be a great rest and rehab area on a big incident. Uh, guys can get a place to sit down, take a breather. Plenty of, plenty of space for uh, your tools and equipment. We've got a Halligan back there. We've got a sledgehammer here. 
We've got room to put more equipment on this Panther. Toronto Pearson requested some chevrons there because when you are responding out the airport, you want that conspicuity so anybody approaching the vehicle from behind is going to know that it's something different there, that it needs to alert, alert their attention and make sure they're seeing a fire truck because we want to keep all the firefighters out there operating on the roadway safe. Here's part of the backup camera and the uh, 360 degree view system here. You also see some clevis hooks there. Uh, also the lockout tag out. Whenever a mechanic is working on the truck, you're gonna wanna make sure that no one jumps in and moves it during an emergency. And the mechanics gonna come back here, shut this down. That way nobody can start the truck. They'd have to come back here uh, and, and visually see it or pull it and know that the mechanic's there. Uh, it's, it's a great safety feature to have. Another option that they went with that they wanted to have uh, they wanted ladders, so to put ladders to get them on and off the truck and keep all your firefighters safe, sometimes it's best to put them on a gantry. Let's see how that operates. All right, now you can see the ladder gantry system deployed. This is gonna save a lot of firefighters' backs. It's also gonna keep it from getting on and off the, the top of the vehicle, which can be a safety, um, that can be a safety issue in itself, just getting the ladders down. But now the ladders are down, easy to deploy. You saw how fast it was. Great tool to have on your Rosenbauer Panther. As we rotate around to this side of the Panther, you also see more storage tools and equipment, uh, engine access. We also have an electric cord reel. 200 foot of 12.3 wire. You can take your junction box out. You got power anywhere within 200 feet of the truck. You got your K12 rescue saw. This is your uh, control, remote control for your light tower. We want to keep it close to the light tower. That way, the anytime somebody's operating it, they got a clear overhead view of what, what they're extending the tower up into. This is a 100 foot twin agent hydrochem reel line. Uh, easy, easy to, easily deployable, swing out tray gonna lock there. Anytime the firefighter needs it, he's just gotta roll it off, head that way, head toward the scene of the fire. 100 feet, twin agent reel line. Here we are at the R1 compartment on the Rosenbauer Panther. You see your discharge, you see a pump uh, intake fill here. We also see the dry chem vessel for the onboard dry chem firefighting system. Got your breakaway pre-connect line here. So when the firefighter deploys this, he's gonna pull, they're gonna make their last pull, it's gonna charge the line, auto charge the line. Now they're ready to fight fire. On this side of the Panther in this compartment, you also notice the winterization system. On those cold winter days in Toronto at the airport, they're gonna fire this up. It's gonna keep your tank water warm. It's gonna keep your pump compartment warm. And then your other compartment has a heater in there too that uh, this is gonna keep everything from freezing on board the truck. Customizing the, the Panther and working with Rosenbauer to meet those needs was fantastic. Um, coming down, doing our midpoint and final inspection, all the issues that we've worked together to uh, make such a high quality piece of equipment that's going to protect Toronto Pearson for years in the future.